I'm Elia. I'm a meal prep coach, and I will change your life. My name is Elia and I'm a meal prep coach. I help people get organized in the kitchen. I help them learn to cook meals that are easy and quick, but also the functionality of the kitchen and making it work for you and your busy lifestyle. To recap for those of you who maybe didn't watch one of my latest vlogs, in my postpartum period, I have actually been struggling a bit because I've been at my lowest weight ever. Probably primarily because I'm nursing and Milo's just sucking nutrients out of me. I reached out to a registered dietitian. Her name is Marissa. I'm gonna pop up her information here. And I've been working with her one-on-one -on -one to figure out what the best plan is for me to actively try putting weight on. One thing that I'm doing in conjunction with her dietary plan is strength training two times a week, and that's just to build muscle and feel stronger. And I've been feeling really strong, you guys. I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm feeling really strong, and Marissa gave me this whole list of foods in addition to kind of a time plan of when she wants me to eat throughout the day. All in the hopes that I'm getting an adequate amount of calories and that I'm properly replenishing myself given what is coming out of me every day. The thing is though, the area that was a little bit tougher for me was not knowing what to eat, but really arranging my home and my fridge and what I shop for every week to cater to that. When I open the fridge, I have a lot of different foods, but it's just like ingredients and it's not ready to go and it's not easy to make something quickly. So then I wind up getting takeout. So I knew that working with a dietitian alone was just half of the equation and that what I actually needed was like a meal prep coach. Now, I didn't know that this existed. I just made a post on Instagram. Then I get a DM from Elia. She sends me a private message. It was a voice note actually, which I loved because it was very personal. And she told me that she is a meal prep coach. Recently, we left the city for a couple weeks and we went out to the beach. And while I was out there, I read her ebook, Poolside. It basically gives you every bit of information you would ever need when it comes to meal prepping. And I'm so excited to say that she is giving five of you out there her ebook for free. She also has a signature meal prep course called Plan Prep Plate. And so five of you are gonna win her ebook and that free course. All you need to do is drop your email at the link that's in the description box. It's like a little Flowdesk form. Just by putting your email in there, you will be entered to win and Elliot is gonna pick five of you and give you the goods. All this to say, I was really inspired by her and I wound up hiring her as a meal prep coach. So she's coming over for the next two days. Let's get this kitchen organized. Today is day one and our plan of attack today is kind of like an inventory remodeling day. We're gonna take like everything out, get rid of expired things, things you don't like, things that have freezer burn, and then just like rearrange things so that it works for you. <laughs> Best of use by 2020. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. I think step one when it comes to any inventory is to kind of pull everything out, look through what you have. Unfortunately, there's probably a lot of expired stuff that you're gonna wanna get rid of first, and then you wanna categorize, like things together. Once you have things in categories, then you can kind of start playing around, start creating shelves or drawers and organization systems for how to properly put everything away in a way that makes the most sense, is the most functional, lets you get the best usage out of your space, and of course, a way that looks tidy and organized and keeps your brain tidy and organized. She's all about consolidating things. She's all about getting clear bins and containers that you can organize things in so that you know stuff isn't dripping all over your cabinets. She had me purchase ahead of time a lot of those clear bins from places like Walmart or the container store. I will link them for you below, including Lazy Susan's for the fridge. It's pretty, but it's not just pretty for the sake of being pretty, it's functional. Tomorrow, she's coming back for day two, and after the fridge is all organized, she's going to do a real meal prepping session with me. Hello again. <laughs> okay, so I took out basically 
basically almost, I think, everything that we're gonna use today. And we are going to follow Lucy's meal prep to-do list. I think some of the things we're crossing out, but lots of stuff. We're gonna do a lot of freezing so she's ready for the next like two weeks of food without having to think about what to make. Start with the things that take the longest. So baked potatoes, we're going to wrap these up. They're already washed. Wrap them up in tin foil, throw them in the oven even while it's preheating so we don't have to worry about that for like another hour. The other thing we're gonna do also is get started on the eggplant because we're gonna make eggplant parmesan. We're also gonna make like pickled onions. How about mm, those? We love pickled we're onions. We're gonna have those for lunch or you're gonna have those for lunch today. We have lots of protein. We're gonna make my famous miso maple salmon, some shredded chicken with chicken tenders, two packs of that so she could freeze some. We're gonna make turkey burgers and turkey meatballs, naked ones. And then we're gonna make sloppy janes. And uh, I think that's it. All right, so we're gonna taste the sloppy janes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, hot. Yeah. Oh my God, I love to burn my mouth. <laughs> That's so good. My freezer is one major pain point area for me because not only is that where I store all my breast milk, but the rest of the drawer is just kind of like a dumping ground for stuff. So it's not organized at all, and when I need to get something, I have to dig and dig and dig, and I end up not using the stuff on the bottom because it's not accessible. So hopefully she's gonna help me clear out that freezer, reorganize it in a way that works and makes sense. And I know that she's really, really big on freezing a lot of foods, even cooked foods, things like cooked shredded chicken or pesto. And I'm just really excited to learn all of her tips when it comes to meal prepping so that I can start getting the best use out of my fridge and freezer. Lucy. Important question for you. Yeah. How do you feel now that all your breast milk is organized? So good. I feel really good because my breast milk has a shelf life. No pun intended. Huh. Is that a pun? Like because of your, your boob shelf? No, I meant to like... <laughs> I meant to like it's on the shelf. Oh yeah. But it has a shelf life. And I wanted to make sure it didn't go to waste. So now we reorganize the system. The milk from April is in the front and Lucy knows to take it for Milo. So everything's in order. Thank you for asking. Since we're all cooking, we're obviously making a big mess and typically you'd be by yourself probably in the kitchen or maybe with your partner, but we always want to assess the mess. So that's why I always start with the empty dishwasher. If you have one, you're lucky. And then we have a clean sink and the mess is not existent. <laughs> yeah. If you do this, it just goes everywhere. <laughs> if you do this, and then you open it, it's like magic. It's just better. Um, and then it stays. We use some tomato paste, so we always want to not waste it, and there's still like a bunch. Condense it into a jar. So that's like one tablespoon, and we're gonna portion it out. You have this ready, and we can label it two tablespoons, and you have that. And do I keep this in the fridge? You can keep it in the fridge, but I like to just keep it in the freezer, and then you could pop it in a bowl of hot water, and it'll defrost. Another cool tip is you could put this in like a stasher bag or a plastic bag and make it really flat, mm -hmm. and then you could just break off a piece. That's smart. You could do that too. Okay, so you'll have two containers of pesto in the freezer. If you have ice cube trays, you can do that too. There's some Dijon in here. We're just going to use the jar as a dressing jar so we can shake it up. We're gonna do some sweetener. You can use agave, maple syrup or whatever, honey. I love to finish up what's in the fridge. We got some salt and pepper. Let's do lemon juice first. We're gonna finish this lemon juice. Then we're gonna do olive oil. And we'll throw some of this in there too. Shake it up. <laughs> this is the fun part. I'm gonna be the first to call myself out here. I did a fridge organization video a few years ago in my last apartment. It was kind of my attempt at being sustainable. I put everything in glass jars and I tried to make it really pretty and it was really pretty. It was totally fridge goals. 
but if it's not sustainable for your lifestyle it's not sustainable for the environment and i have to say i lived like that for a little while but now with a child it's just impossible for me to have my fridge just be all glass jars now as a new mom i have to make choices and decisions and i i can't be 100% plastic free, it just doesn't work for my lifestyle and where I live and what I need. But I really do think that the changes that Elliot is gonna help me implement and the way my fridge is going to look at the end of this is going to be pretty sustainable in terms of being environmentally friendly. And at the end of the day, it's really just realistic and useful for me as a new mom. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah.